Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. And we have Victor here with us this morning. And Victor flew all the way down here from New Jersey, referred by his sister, who is also from New Jersey, who came down here to see us. Isn't that right, Victor? Sure is. Yep. So we're going to see him a couple times today. This is his very first visit. I've already done his orthopedic neurological examination. And now we're going to do his posture for you again. I've already done that too, but we're going to show you again. Flex your head forward and backwards for me, Victor. Now neutral. Now as you can see from his posture, his head's forward in the z-axis, and his head's also turned to the left, with his head translated to the left on the x-axis as well. Um, down here in his pelvis, pelvis shifted a little bit to the right of center down here. I've already done his, like I said, his orthopedic neurological evaluation. So we're going to do his first adjustment right here on this biophysics table. So lay on your tummy for me again, Victor. Sure. Let's take your glasses so I don't okay. break those. Now see, he doesn't have any lower back pain that he's complaining of, but his left leg is short by over half an inch, and it gets longer by over half an inch when I bring it up, so that tells me his pelvis is subluxated or misaligned, even though he's not experiencing pain there, so we're going to adjust that for him. Because the entire pelvis and spine work together, it's important to line up the entire spine and biomechanics so that when we adjust his neck and upper thoracic, which is where he's having his main complaints, they aren't thrown out immediately by his low back and pelvis being out of place. That was his pelvic bones, sacroiliac joints in the sacrum. Now I'm down his lumbar spine. are going to love you. There we go. There. And I am referring to all you people who love cavitation. I'm going to start saying all you cavitation addicts. <laughs> That's the technical term for the popping, cracking noise that occurs during an adjustment, which is a nitrous gas that is exploding during the opening of the joints. See, that's a little easier even though the first one didn't hurt, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to adjust his cervical spine from the P to A status here. There's C3, 4, C5, 6, C6, 7. Okay, let's turn you on your back now. Because he's got a little bit of forward head posture. That's what's creating a lot of the extra additional weight-bearing compressive stress in his upper thoracic spinal musculature. Drop this right in my hands here now. Let me do all the work. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Good job. Okay. You going to feel your head popping up again? Yep. There. Now let's slide down this way for me a little bit. Just slide down. Oh. There you go. Now put your arms out to the sides. Okay. Adjust his shoulder joints, the AC joints here, the sternoclavicular joints on both sides, and then the costosternal joints right here. Good. Okay, let's sit you up face toward Joseph now. Since you're going to be here twice today, then you're leaving, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. So you came down here for one day to get adjusted, huh? Yep. And you've seen chiropractors up in New Jersey, right? Once. Once. But for six months, you told me. Yes, I mean, one doctor. Oh, okay. There we go. 
Okay, so we're going to have him come over here and I'm going to decompress his spine on the Y axis. This is a full spine traction. Let's have you lay on your back with your pelvis right here and get up this way on your back. There you go. I'm going to slide it up just a little bit more, please, sir, right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to raise your legs up now. Just let them relax and bend. You put your hands right here and relax. On this one, it's important to keep your teeth together and just breathe through your nose and relax. Yeah, this is the way I recommend people sleep right here with their legs elevated. There we go. All right. Okay, just breathe through your nose. Let all your air out. Okay, one more. There we go, good. You feel that one all the way down? Yes, I did. Okay. I can tell when I don't get them all the first time, so I did it again. Now I've already done your Palmer Diversified Rotary Break, so I'm not going to do that again, but lay there for a second so I can adjust your legs and your hips. There we go. Just relax your leg right here in my hand. Okay. There we go. You feel that all the way up into your hips? Yes, I did. Good. There we go. Good. Okay. Now let's stand you up over here and face the mirror again. Okay. Here, Victor, I'll give you your glasses back so you can see. Thanks. Okay, I'm going to have you close your eyes again and bend your head forward and backwards for me. Now that should have felt more smoothly in your range of motion than it did the first time, did it? Now back oh. to neutral. Okay, see he's not twisted way to the left anymore. He's not translated either way. He's right down the middle in his pelvis. And his forward head posture has come up and back more than what it was when we first saw him. You can open your eyes and take a look now. See how your okay. chin's up and back more? Yes, actually. And you're, actually your head's not turned to the left anymore? Yep, yeah. So we saw a big difference on your very first adjustment. What would you have to tell our YouTube fans about your first adjustment here? Uh, they should definitely get it done. It's awesome. It's, I see it already. It's first time. Great. Thank you for sharing your experience, yeah. Victor. Thank you, Tom. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas. And we'll see you all soon.